This is the electric scooter. It will do obviously off road, um, off off main roads. It will do 145, I think. Uh, but I want it faster. I want at least 160 out of it. Now, as you probably know, this is the secondary battery that I put on here, which is in parallel with the first one. Um, but I'm not happy with it. I want a complete one battery. I've just seen a mosquito. I've just fumigated in here, and there's a mosquito in here. I'm going to take this battery out strip it all down I've got another a new 32s BMS um, so I'm using one BMS instead of the two that I've got rigged at the minute so I'm going to take it all apart not looking forward to this because all the fairings got to come off as well all the sides the front everything's got to come off everything um, so as I can get access to the tray to see what I can what, what I can fit now also the original battery I'm going to strip that down cut it cut the laser um, the laser welds I've got 23s there I've got enough to make 26s and also an additional 26s so here we go I've just done a time lapse of taking all this fair enough I forgot to press record dickhead never mind um, I'm wondering if I can strengthen this thing, stop it flexing. There's plenty of room here because the fairing comes up here, so I'm wondering if I can actually get a row of cells on here. Ideally, I don't want it to, I, I, I want the seat to be the seat and under the seat to be under the seat and keep the CG as low as possible. This is the battery there that's right next to the linen basket, but it doesn't matter, it doesn't affect the operation. Well, I've got 26 in there. And it's shoehorned quite literally. So I'm wondering whether I can like double stack those. There's the seat, obviously, with my battery underneath it. That's 23S, but I'm going 26S now. You can see where the fairing is, but if I start butchering that, I don't think it's going to fit. So I think the only option is to actually use it to put um but put it under the seat sort of under the you know what i mean <laughs> i've got to take the battery out of here so as i know what size i'm working with and then i can put the empty seat under there and, and possibly chop the bottom out of it so as i can sort of slot the battery in this has got to be a removable battery as well that's that's the well i say the downside it's it's got to be a removable battery for maintenance and also, I don't know, <laughs> this fairing doesn't actually do a lot. Um, it's just there for being pretty. So I I don't need it. That sits back there, around about there. That seat there, that's the structural part of it. It bolts on there and also at the back. So that's the piece that you sit on. So that's the, that's the piece that's got to hold the weight. I need to get that piece and put that piece on there for size comparison or fitting comparison sort of thing. You know, I spoke to my mum yesterday because every Sunday I call my mum. I enjoy my conversations with my mum. She said, you've got a motorbike in the house. Well, where else to put it? There's bloody air con in here. Don't get aircon outside. I'm going to take this apart because it's not, well, it is needed obviously, but it's not needed now. Um, so I'm going to take this one apart and then I can see exactly how many cells I can get under the seat. So I'm hoping I can get all the 26 on there. I've taken note of all you conscious, uh, safety conscious people. And I've insulated this because I don't want a repercussion of what happened last time. Yay, yay, yay! Hello, honey. <laughs> oh my god! So, all I've done is just got some heat shrink on there just to make it safe so I don't bridge anything out like I did on that. Was it there? Yeah, those two there. Was it across? I, don't, I can't remember. I, it, it all happened so fast. <laughs> this is not very easy. These things are like, I mean, they're, they're shoehorned in here, they're not going to move anywhere so. 
I'm happy with this being as it is, although I've still got to organise them and positive and negative. So I'm going to have a 13 S here, and then I'll have to have a link wire to that one, which is that's going to be another 13 S 2P pack. I'm happy with this layout, and I'm happy with the way these are going. I'm going to have to. I'm going to take them out and pair them, strap them together as pairs. And then we can put them back in. I think I'm going to have the, the main wires coming off here because the the motor wires down there. So I'm going to I'm going to organise these into a 13s pack. And these things I'm going to have to put link wires somewhere. I don't know how to do it yet. Um, but these two cells in the middle have got to be there because it's part. It's 26 cells in total. sure how to link these yet with the two use a parallel across that one but I'd have to put a link wire then onto that one so I could link that to that oh no actually I think what I might do if I put that there or, or there I think I've got the right length links. Actually, I'll, I'll check that to see if that's the right length. Right length link. Yeah, I could I could link that to that one, and then put a link across there. So that one's the parallel for the, for that. No, that's actually a positive now, isn't it? So that will go that way, and that one with it. They'll go like that. I do not want it to touch this one, you see. So they're the only ones I've got. So I'd have to insulate this because I, I don't like that. You see that that will cut some grooves in this to make it shorter and push that up a bit, which is what I might do. Or <laughs> I've got to think about this. I don't like how close that is. Positive would have to come out link to that one and that would have to have a parallel link to that one and then the negative would be linked that's going to be the positive that's going to be the negative so those are linked i've tried many different layouts of this and this is the only way it'll actually work so that positive will have to have a lug put on it and go into this one negative i can use the bus bar so no positive will have to link to that so that's that parallel and then we've got negative positive, negative, positive, those two, and then those two, or do we do one, it's got to go the other way around, doesn't it, positive to positive, negative to negative, and then those two, go in there, uh, they will fit, eventually, and your layout of, of where everything goes, how everything works it's absolutely critical and a firm understanding of exactly what you're doing because it, it can go very wrong very quickly believe me the thing is would it be better doing that positive no because that's negative oh hang on <laughs> oh dear that to be in parallel but that will have to link to that that will be the negative positive negative I'm trying to explain this right so we're going to use this as the positive but these are in parallel so I'm going to have to strap those and then so positive to negative, the negative will then be strapped to this, these two which are in parallel, and then that will go to that, 
and then the negative of that will go to the positive on that one and then the negative of that one will go to the positive on that one negative of that one positive on that one the negative of this will go to this which will also be strapped to this positive because these that one and that one are in parallel so those will be strapped and I'll have to make a, a, a strap long enough to go all the way down to here because these are in parallel that's in parallel and then the, the positive sorry the negative of this will go to the positive on this which these will, these will be strapped and negative to positive negative to positive negative to positive negative to positive negative of that will go to the positive of that and that will also be strapped and then that one and those two will be strapped and this will ultimately be the negative so as far as I can work out that is the only layout I can use it won't go any other way and I'm, I'm actually quite happy with that because that fits in nice and tightly in there it's not it's not over tight I'm going to start putting the straps on and then we'll see where we go from there should you really be eating while you're doing that yeah. 